Morgan Lake, and you had a sighting back here of uh, what you call Swamp Thing back in 1999. Yes, I did. And uh, tell me what happened. Well, we were coming out with me and my couple friends, and we were just driving. Then we got a, a car stalled. All of a sudden, you know, we were here for a while, and we saw something. And, and you know, it never dawned on me. This, this thing, like, started. Like a, I thought it was a person that started walking up, and as soon as uh, you know, I kept getting closer and closer, and I just noticed that like it was just getting furry, and I, you know, I picture this, uh, I, I don't know, a swamp thing. I did thought did you think it was somebody like coveralls maybe walking up to you? No, That's the first thing that came to me was a swamp thing because we're so thing. close to a river, and I don't know, maybe it's all the cartoons I watched when I was small. Yeah. Or, but anyways, I was getting closer and closer and closer, you know, and I was with my friends and one of two of them started panicking and, you know, they jumped out of the car and they, they left us there and our car would not start until they got, this first this thing got so close, then our car started kicking over and so we were just right off the highway right here and the good thing, we just, it kicked on and we just left. And it just kept walking towards you? Yes, it did. So it would have come from this direction. Um, up the road here. Yeah, by Morning Lake. And you guys just watched him walking towards you. Yeah, we were watching, walking him, watch, or walking towards us, and you know, it never, it didn't really dawn on to me. It's like, did it get closer and closer? Like, this thing is a swamp thing, and I, I say, this is a swamp thing. You know, I was like, let's just go. I never seen something like that, and the car wouldn't start, and I hadn't, you know, it was either that or jump out and leave the car there, but. And it, it was huge. I mean, yeah, it this was, thing was pretty. Good. You know, from a distance, it was like a normal person, and it started getting coming closer and closer. So, how about as far as color? What kind of color did it have? Its fur? I would say like a burgundy. Burgundy, and reddish uh, brown. Reddish brown. It, it was kind of what, maybe six inch length fur. Um, it just to me, it seemed like. 
when you go, when you get in something and you get back up and you just, you were just walking like this. And you can see the fur. Yeah, you can see the fur and things just hanging off and, you know, like, I, I never thought of. Like a bunch of cheesy on him, yeah, you know, cockle like, burls and things yeah, like that. Like, some coming off him, like. Like he'd been rolling around in the hay, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. And he just kept walking towards you guys. Yeah, he kept walking towards and walking towards. And he, we did at first it was okay because we thought it was just another person. And we kept walking towards and I'm like this, this, this is a swamp thing. We got to get out of here. <laughs> That's the first thing that hit my mind was like, cause we're so close to the water. And I never heard of anything else, but I was calling it a swamp thing ever since. Um, so place. A height estimate. Was he a foot taller than me? I'm six foot tall. Was he a foot taller he than me? He was way taller than what, what height you're standing. Um, would you put him around nine feet, ten feet tall? About eight, maybe eight, seven and a half. Seven and a half, eight feet tall. And you guys, it looks, it appears to me you guys got within like maybe 30 yards of this thing. Yeah, he was pretty close to the car that I was in. I and mean, you guys got the, cars to, the car to start. Yeah, we got to start and we just... Went straight back, and I'm so glad the road was just right there. We just got back on the road, and we hauled. I mean, right down the road, maybe you can see it still. We hit a a side rail. You uh -huh. probably can still see the. Hopefully, you can still see the printing on that. And you still had you had six people in the car at first. Yeah. And people were exiting the car, frightened, panicked, taking off. Yeah, scared. And then the, the car started. Did these people get back in the vehicle? Well, yeah, after we picked them up. On the road. <laughs> oh my God! Did they run down the road then? Yeah, they were quite quite a ways from the, down the road. So right? you guys had a pretty frightening experience yeah. out here. And uh, obviously you saw fur. Did you get any real good facials? Could you make out a nose, lips, ears? I was just too concentrated on his hands and where his hands were going to go and the way he was walking and just... Did he kind of walk like bowed out? No, he didn't really walk. He was like... Just like that. Kind of like, um, even, what do you call those people that are on a horse? So? Bow legged. Bow legged. Yep. Kind of walking bow legged, and his hands were sticking out, and he could, when his hands sticked out, you could just see the fur, or. And all the cheesy on the yeah, fur, all the, the little the cockle burls yeah. and everything else. That's the only thing I noticed. I wasn't paying attention until when he got so close, and I seen, started seeing all that stuff coming from his hand, his elves, and his legs were started walking. They're all bow legged, and that's what really scared scared the hell out of me. <laughs> they, they walk funny. They walk bow legged. They would they would be perfect on horseback. Yeah. <laughs> if you could find they a pretty, horse big enough. They pretty they pretty much scared me though. From you know I never came back over here. Not for a while. Not for a while. I, would, I don't think I would actually come back over here at night anymore. And this was about dusk. It was. I'm saying it's about night. It was night, but you had enough light to see this thing yeah. coming up towards you. So you just thought it was a person coming to check out what was wrong, yeah, what you know? Yeah, what was going on and stuff like that. And then as soon as it, you know, got closer to the car, and that's when I was like, I noticed the arms. I know, actually, I just noticed his his left arm right here, and with the way he was walking, and I seen all that. It, like, did the arms go almost down to the knees? As far yeah, as it the was, hands. It was like, but then the way he was walking, like, kind of bow-legged and. But super long arms. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, probably past the knees, actually. Mm, I don't know about past the knees, but I don't know. At least down to his knees? Yeah. Okay. It was kind of unusual for me to see something like that. That's from that day on, I just, you know, tell people I don't go over here because there's a swamp thing here. A swamp thing. <laughs> from there on, well, I kept it as Well, it that. sounds a lot like a Sasquatch, but uh, uh, I think we'll call the guy out in this area, we'll just call him Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. And he probably needs a fur tailor because he's all juicy and he's got all that stuff wrapped up in his fur. <laughs> and, you know, typically from the front, as I've said before, they're, they're typically fairly well groomed in the front. It's the back when they're walking away. You've got all that matted hair and you've got all the little cockle burls and stuff wrapped up in their fur. You know, if they haven't got somebody to help them care for their fur. So this guy might well have been just a loner out here. Hard to tell. We've got other reports out of this immediate area. Um, I showed you that cave when we were on our way in, mm -hmm. where we had a sighting there of two or more individuals in the cave. So, I mean, this is obviously an area of activity.
Cause you know I never heard of anything, anything like that. So till this day, and I like to me still, to me it's still considered a swamp thing. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it a swamp thing. Do want to thank you so much, uh -huh. and uh, we'll be talking to you again. All right then, thank God you. God bless you. On February 13th, I was contacted by David Ortiz. He told me that an individual had called him on the telephone to tell him of a river crossing by two very large, very hairy individuals down below this person's property. What he witnessed was one of them turning and looking at him and he was very unnerved by this. He was very unnerved by the whole situation. He'd witnessed a river crossing three years prior and had been on the lookout ever since. We went to the area to survey the area and see what we could find. <laughs> 